Let's go, guys. Welcome back to another videos. We're Blanky Boy. Yeah. No, I don't want another intro. I've done this several times. Why, hello there. Future entrepreneur. Congratulations on purchasing the start your own Freddy Fast and this pizza relocation kit. 1993 edition. I am your friendly company representative. I am not a child murderer. Oh. Freddy's is a chain of fast food joints that span the That's entire of America. Things. At its prime, Freddy's had really? over 50 active locations, most of which would permanently shut down due to a suspicious number of toddlers going missing on our premises. How crazy is that? I'm sure glad that I've had nothing to do with any of that. You can't prove anything! You, good sure, are a young visionary who bought the Freddy's merchandising kit for so an ugly. fee of $12.50. The first step of setting up a successful Freddy's pizza joint is to choose a suitable location. And not just any cardboard box will do. Small enough that mysterious giant scugglers can't lay eggs in your restaurant undetected. Huge. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Secondly, you need a oh, two no. rooms. A room for dancing in, and a room for bleeding out in. Don't splurge when buying a location. Oh, God, that's also, save yourself a headache and well, annoy the carpet. You'll thank me oh, later. Boy. Next, you need ingredients for your pizza. The nearest dumpster will do nicely. <laughs> you want your pizza to have that distinctive Freddy's taste, don't you? Next, you'll need performers. Robots are expensive, so just buy a fat dog over oh, 20 no. bucks and call it a so fucking day. Or, better yet, fish something out of the trash. Don't attempt to murder any kids that are buffer than you are. Don't put the rabbit's face on a goddamn pizza. Taxation is theft. Don't pay taxes. Don't drop kid any screaming toddlers. And don't <laughs> the fax during business hours. That's all I have for this day. Goodbye, future restaurant owner. <laughs> and remember, you are the new face to Freddy and Sam and the and I got all this. Okay. Why, hello there, future business owner. Hi. Welcome to your new Freddy's location. Oh. Cool. Like all Freddy's location, it's probably a complete dump. All right. But, rest assured, with enough business savvy antics, you'll be able to afford running water in no time. Oh, that's great. I don't have power running water. Freddy's issue camera panel should now be sent to your restaurant currently. The pressing is in. Yes. Most begin at Freddy's locations have at least two rooms, a dining area, and the safe room. So you're saying that, um, I get to build my own Freddy's? This is your dining area. If you were lucky, you've had enough money left over after buying the place to afford tables. What? What kind of lucky fellow would choose to start up at Freddy's location, eh? Not me! Don't worry, with time, you can upgrade everything, from the floors, to the walls, to the moss on the walls. Ooh, I wanna upgrade the moss, bro. I wanna get it to level 99 moss. Green, big, think of better moss. I will! I will! Oh, that's a big, big This thread. is your safe room. Big gold bear. Alright. It's an off camera room where employees can smoke, complain about you without getting fired, and put on horrendous mask on costumes. Cool! Spring box suits are hard to come by these days. So, you're probably gonna be serving birthday cake in a bear onesie for a while. Great! 
Joke's on you, Dave! I just stuck Golden Eddie onto an existing spring like body. Print not go. I'm trail print yeah. but... Soon enough, you can buy death traps and then hire young adults who roll their nations to die them. Awesome. Great B. Fantastic. Sounds, sounds great. Now, let's draw paperwork. Okay. Sign all of it right now. Okay! And sign it all later at your leisure. I get to burn stuff! All the paperwork is burned! First, you have a fuck ton of big red letters at your disposal. Okay. What name are you gonna slap onto a restaurant? Oh, um. Not naming it that! Not naming it that! I'm well, not naming it Uncle Jack's Family Diner! Good choice, I'm guessing. Now, we've also included several cut out Freddy's heads to go above the nape of your pizza joint. Corporate didn't want me to throw in this Fred Bear cut out since we accidentally took it mid jump while he had a kid in his mouth. But since I'm the only one here now, I put Fred Bear's head in the damn so choose wisely. Okay. Fred Bear, mid chomp. I'm just gonna put Freddy. You just made the partially relevant choice. Don't worry about it. With all of that out of the way, it's time to go outside, put up your back, your bare head, and call this place open. Goodbye. And remember, you are the face of Freddy Bass and his pepperoni. Awesome. Alright, so I'm assuming that's the safe room then. And that's the outdoor. Orange Maniac revives bear worshipping pizza cult. This is simply the worst possible timeline considered local parent. Is that 426? Aw, oh, six minutes after the perfect time. Well, I actually make cash now. Instead of tokens. Amazing! Actual customers have shown up! Whoa! Good God! If you play your cards right, you'll be able to buy a table next month. Go get suited up and bring out cake to the kids. I play my cards right, I'll be able to buy a table next month. That'll be fun. Lucky for you, you stole a wedding cake three months ago. Cakes are too magical to go stale, right? Oh man, that's good. If any kid gets food poisoning, just respond to their parents with that! Fantastic. It's cake time! Cake, 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 cake. Oh, this game. You kidding me? This is the Los Angeles Police Department. Uh oh, what did I do Am this I time? Am I speaking to the owner of Freddy Fazbender's Pizza? This is he, speaking. First of all, may we ask for your name, sir? 
Uh, yes, you may. It is. Er, Blanky Boy. Thank you, boy! Glad we have that straightened out. We need to ask you another question. Have you heard anything about what happened outside your restaurant today? No. No, what Basically, happened? Basically, a child named Jacob Adams got abducted outside the New Freddy's location at around 5 p.m. Must have been Dave. No witnesses were close enough to fully make I out gave what happened. You, bad, you little rascal. <laughs> Save myself, even though I don't have to. Witnesses were close enough. And the reports that we've gotten so far are totally outlandish and paranormal. We know that you were oh, inside when it happened, and we're just calling all nearby businesses out of courtesy. Yeah, that makes sense. Please, be vigilant. Okay. Something Everything is outside else. your restaurant, and it has already taken one child away. Make sure to lock up tight, and to keep a close eye out. Okay. Good night. Stay safe. I'm just gonna leave the doors unlocked. Nothing suspicious gonna happen. Nuh-uh. Yes. 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 Save. Yes. Awesome. I made $21, baby. Let's go. Ooh, pretty. Why, hello there, future restaurant owner. Hi, Mr. Purple Man. Look, I'm gonna level with you. Okay. I don't know what you're gonna hear these picks in, but all I know, Afton Robotics has closed its doors, and no new robots are being made. What? All of that aside, why would you want to spend money on brand new robots when you're just gonna get children's blood and buffalo wing sauce all over them a month after purchase? You got a point. What you should do is cut corners. Okay. Cutting corners at the cost of customer safety. Why? That's the American dream. I mean, I would know. I mean, I am an American, so... So, yes. here's what you need to do. Grab a phone book, and look for the nearest abandoned Freddy's location. Okay. Most of them are abandoned, as of me recording this. So, unless they are bulldozed, or burnt down, you've got easy pickets. Okay. Go to whatever location you can get to, find your way inside. And then take the most complete robot you can. Shine, those old things might be dangerous. What one did? Okay. What? You'll save a fortune. He's got a point. I'll save money. And besides, customers love those fucking things. Nothing beats Andy's nostalgia. Except being bitten. Worry not, future restaurant owner. If anything goes Murder. wrong, you can always just relocate and change your name, right? He's got a point! After all, what kind of man buys the Freddy's location and uses their real name? He's right, I didn't use my real name. He's like boy. Anyway, that's it for this tip. Goodbye, and remember, you are the funky face the Freddy Fassbender's pepperoni. I like the music in the background. Boy, it sure is dark in here. Well, time to get searching. I'm sure I'll find more here than I did last time. Is this the old place? So what do you like to do? Behind 
stage. What would you like to do? Let's back with it, Freddy. Boy, Freddy has sure seen better days. Salvage him. Would you like to commit to salvaging with it, Freddy? Salvaging an old uh, robot increases your liability rate. You decide to take with it, Freddy, back with you. You're free to leave to the dining area, right? or you can explore this location somewhere. Balloon Boy first. Come on. Surely even you don't want a one-legged BB. Oh, they're shitting on Balloon Boy. No. I want to get Weather Freddy. Weather Freddy, he's the most intact. Search the north. What would you like to do? I think you once wore this thing for a living. Strangely enough, someone seems to have repaired it since you've last seen it. Would you like to sell You're not free to leave from the dining area. You can explore this location. Push this out. He, he's just, he's more repaired than with a Freddy, so. I think I'm gonna go and go with him instead of with a Freddy. Like to do? Leave the pizzeria and take Spring Party back to you. I've got what I came for. Yeah, it looks in good condition. It's time to go. Very well. What's done is done. You say goodbye to the Freddy's Bakersfield location for the last time and try Spring Party through the window. Tomorrow is another day. So I destroyed a window. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Cause I I didn't think I'd get in there legally. There, through the front door. I have to go through it. I think what it is though is um, each electronic is gonna be a different location. Oh, I'm home. There's a picture of an 8-bit doge! Yes. Yes, there's an 8-bit an bit doge. You have one thing left to do tonight. What is that? Go to your workshop. It's Hello Darkness, my old friend. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. But that's okay. 
Cause this sounds really, really good. Go sit down. I'm so glad they have darkness. Hello, darkness. I have rain. Hello. Of silence. This was Peter and Caroline's room. You kept this door locked since they passed away. Maybe late. You know that there's something that you need to take care of first. You can sleep with. Understood. I don't trust. Oh, I can't move. Help, help, help. This seems like a bad idea. She's up and running. It's time. I want to go to bed. It's your last chance to find their souls. The last chance of redemption. Your last chance to give those lost souls their happiest day. You have to go inside. have to take a look around. The flip side is a hostile place. Save Dalton. Use X slash escape to bring up this menu screen. Save. Save and file too. Yes. Oh, purple guy! What's up, buddy? Oh, sport! Is that... Is that you? Yes! You know, old sport, I never thought I'd see you here. Since you're soulless and all. Yeah, I am soulless, but... What is this place? Where am okay. I? Time to spill the beans. Right now, we're standing in the realm known as the flip side. Okay. It's a place where dreams come to die and lost souls eat pizza and stuff. Okay. Okay, go on. Basically, you've left your timeline and come to a place outside of your own reality. The flip side. Makes sense. The flip side? The flip side, as it is currently known, is a place where lost souls retreat to. I had no idea that was possible. You Neither did. did I. No. Edith, the damn facts about 12 times while it was haunted. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Purple Man. I think you're making us false allegations. I. I would never do that. <laughs> Please tell me that you didn't actually think the sentient child's mind was inside that fax while you were the wing the do. I don't know. Yeah, you think you got someone else. I would never do that. What if the fox can send it? Good boy. I may be a serial killer, but that's just wrong. <laughs> consent. I had consent, sir. And casual child murder isn't. I'm sorry, continue. The flip side allows souls to remain intact, even if a soul's vessel commits an atrocity in the name of vengeance. I don't get what you mean. Okay, stuff a night guards in the suits, buy another kids. Being called for a brother blue testicle by workers. 
That's too much for a child's mind to bear. All the time, souls tend to retreat to the flip side. And as a result, their vessels become more bearable. Which is why I'm here. Okay, good question. Why are you here? I've been here for years, to be honest. Or, some form of me has, at least. Here's a word of advice, sportsy. Never try to put a soul back into a corpse. Okay. Especially not over and over again. Never ends well. Okay. If I s ever somehow get my soul back, I'll keep that in mind. For the longest time, I always wondered, why don't dog ghosts do this? I know now. Years and years of clinging onto my own that body has caused my soul to rot and tear itself apart. The more reasonable side of me has retreated here. So the side that doesn't kill kids for fun. More or less. Okay. What other... Uh, what about the other part of your soul? I have no clue where my feral side has got him to. It's still out there, I bet. It usually comes back. It always does. Wait, are there any other live people in here aside from us? No, other than us, there's only stray souls in me around here. But then again, I'm not exactly sure if I'm what you call alive, and who gained neither. No! Nope. Actually, that's exactly why you're able to move between the flip side and reality. Yep. What do you mean? The flip side is a place for souls to physically move around. Okay. If a normal human ever tried to enter here through the glass of that arcade machine, their old soul would push back against the glass. I don't have a soul. Like a reflection on the other end of a mirror. Without a soul, nothing can push you back through the glass. You can come and go as you please. Ah, so see, being soulless has its perks. Interesting. Okay. I haven't really kept up to date on what's going on in reality. I last checked that around the early 90s. Granted, I could easily take a gander at what reality they've seen. Can you do that for me right now? Let me check. Okay, I see darkness, 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 the bomb, darkness. Darkness? I'm dark. Okay, I think I'm eating a kebab in the dark. I gathered. You know, it's actually quite fortunate that you decided to come here tonight. Something eerie has happened. I don't like that ominous music that just changed. It changed to ominous. Oh? Do you remember the real Fred Bear? Yeah. Of course I do. I swear promise to that very good. 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 Anyway, he went fucking at you all. Okay. Pardon? Well, being an unliteral entity. He spent quite a lot of time here with the lost souls. Watching reality, waiting for the right time to jump in and find evil. What? He hasn't been seen here in quite a while. He left one day and never returned. Hmm. I don't know what exactly went down in reality. What? Something bad clearly happened to Fred Bear. This place has been extra screwed up since then. Why is it showing me my my face? Reminiscent. You see, perhaps I should get going then. Say, if you're going, mm -hmm. perhaps I could join you. 
I could use a friend here. Sure. I'd like that sportsy. I'd like that a hell of a lot. Think about it. You have some kind of quest to go on. I'm bored enough to do whatever painful task you set me to. That's why I thought win situation. That's why I thought of bribing you. You'll do what I want. Besides, there's robots afoot. You're gonna want me around to help fight them off, right? Okay. Come on, Dave. Show me the fuck around this odd forsaken place. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. It'll be like a slumber party, except we're fighting seven foot tall animal robots and searching for dead people. That's a that's a great slumber party. Yay, I get Dave commentary. Let me save real quick. Yeah, I have more health than him. I'll save on file too. Yes. I got Dave with me. Ah, uh, look who it is. The rabbit. Seems so we could see it with her face. I <laughs> swear. One of these days, I want to scribble over the face of every rabbit poster in here. They just look so wrong, you know. Yeah, I feel you. I worked at three different locations that had faceless bodies. Wait, I only remember seeing you at two locations where Bobby was a no-face chump. Where was the trade? Of course you didn't see me. I was a night guard. Went by the name Jeremy Fitzgerald or something to that effect. Ah, uh, right? Yep. Did I work there? Yeah. Killed five kids and then moved on. I see. Yeah. Okay, let's keep moving. I like that dialogue. It's nice. There we go. Freddy looks retarded. Attack. Attack. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Ooh. Fight! Attack! Freddy! Attack! Freddy! <laughs> Go! <laughs> They're only attacking him. It's his game. Ah, no dice. Yes. I swear, I see this cabinet every why does it look like that? Actually, on second thought, I see it every location you work at. This thing does. Let's keep moving. Okay, I just remembered. I left my lunch bags in the supply closet. At some point, we should make our way over to the supply closet. Okay. Uh-huh. And where would that be? Let's just keep moving to the right, and hope we'll eventually- I did the exact thing you didn't want me to do. Exploring.
I remember my way back. I just went upwards. Well, that was dumb. Alright, let's go. Just Friday, we can get him. Are you so dumb? I can't help it. Ah, oh, we missed. One of us missed. Yeah. Black and Boy Squad fucking won. 35 XP. Focus on taking Freddy out first, and then work on taking out Bonnie. <laughs> yes, I got out. I got away. I can't win a battle if it's two of them. I can win if it's just one. If it's just Freddy, I can beat him. Hi, buddy. I die. Maybe we get more HP, um, more levels we go up. That's a possibility. Always a possibility. Whack. Whack. Yeah, 35 XP. Yeah, okay. So we can learn more moves the more we fight. I like that. I'm learning how to tell where we're at. That's ah, my lunch. Oh, that reminds me. What were you looking for again? Looking for stray souls, Dave. Oh, right, that. Please tell me you have an idea where to search next. Well, the security office is the most haunted room here by far. You can't walk past that room without some kind of spectre bull trying to scoot or pickle your organs. We should go check out the security, see if anything's afoot. Okay, sounds like a plan, Dave. Coolio, let's get moving. Alright, we just go up here. I learned how to know where I'm at on the map now, so that's good. And so it's highlighted in green. I'm not gonna win that. Goodbye. That is three of them. Bonnie, Sheikah, and Foxy. I'm not gonna win that. Oh yes, there is a sprint, thank god. It's not a super great sprint, but it's better than that. 
Okay, it's just us. It's just one, it's Chica. See, if it's one of them, I can take them on. But until I level up a little more, I'm not gonna be able to attack two of them. We won! 35 XP! Okay! It's office time! Sportsy! Yes. Nope, don't see Let's anything. wait for 10 seconds or so. Maybe something paranormal will fade in. Okay. Hi, Gordon Freddy! Then you have it, old sport. Something paranormal. Wow. That was sure easy to find. Like, it didn't jump scare us or anything. Now it's gonna jump scare. It's just sitting there now. Hey! Golden Bear Ghostly, are you a dead child by any chance? You. Me. You. I remember your voice. My voice. Oh. Good lord, you're one of mine, aren't you? Yours? Well, yeah, okay, fine. I may have snagged a few kids, but my pal Henry was even better at it than me. So you admit it. And your friend, he also murders lost children. Oh, no, that's not Henry. You both have taken lives that weren't your own. And you must both pay the blood price. Oh, boy. Here we go. Boss fight? Yes, boss fight. Tamper. Go for it. Miss. Attacking you, you, tamper. Come on, miss. Okay. Fight. Miss. He's attacking me. You can't escape punishment for what you've done. I fully intend to do exactly that. Hi, I'm just gonna start fighting. Double attack. He missed. No escaping death. Nice try, Goldie. One, I hate dying. I have a feeling he's low. Fucking one! 35 XP! 
We're now level three. I promise. Learn. Dave is now level three. Slippery. Learn. Just stop fighting us. You go sleep, old testicle. <laughs> you have not defeated me. I am a spirit. I will keep fighting you. Till enough. I'm no child murderer. I think. That voice. That face. I know who you are. I saw you on the news. You saw a sports gun hoot. That would mean no. That's impossible. Yes. You know it's a Freddy's restaurant. I see how it is now. You clearly opened a Freddy's restaurant to lure kids there so your partner could kill them outside. Oh, sport. Since when do you own your own Freddy's restaurant? Since today, actually. Wait a second. Oh. My. God. Your. Is your name Jacob? How do you know my name? We'll just put Jacob there now. Dave, this child was killed outside my restaurant. Just before I entered the flip side. Police officer called me and told me about it after work. Wait. That can't be right. That would mean... Jacob? You need to stop fighting us. I will avenge my own life. I will avenge the lives of the others who are also stuck here. Jacob? Killing me won't solve anything. I had nothing to do with what happened with you. But I remember his voice. Jacob, please. You aren't a golden bear. You're just a kid. In a golden bear costume. You don't know what I've been through. What he did to me. I don't care. Tell me what happened, Jacob. I'll try to make it better. I promise. I was six years old. It was a cool June evening at around 5 p.m. I was on my way to meet my friends at a newly opened Freddy's location, Freddy Fazbender's Pizza. I walked up to the doors of the restaurant and gazed up at the brown bed hair, bare hands staring down at me from above the doorway. Without warning, someone slinked up behind me and plung, plug, pulled me into an alley. It smelled like death and clasped its hands around my throat. I struggled, but its grip on my neck was ironclad. My body remained in the alley until it was found later. My spirit left my dead body and I wandered around in the cold, lost. I tried to speak to those who were walking around me, but nobody could see me. I... I tried to change my form so people could see me. I tried to change my form to match the bear giving cake out through your window or inside your restaurant, but I couldn't. I didn't have the energy. I faded away, ended up here. This realm looks just like a Freddy's restaurant, so I've heard not that I have ever gotten to see the inside of a real Freddy's restaurant. Just like the happy day I never got. My happiest day. See? You are a child, Jacob. I've been here for what feels like an eternity. Time doesn't work correctly here. I can no longer clearly remember my parents' faces. I miss them. Jacob, they definitely miss you too. Don't you want to see them again? Don't you want to move on? Yes, I do. And it's time to stop fighting us, Jacob. Accept your fate. Stop fighting. Sleep. You. You. Sleep. I'm so alone, Blanky boy. Nobody else here remembers who they are. Or what it's like to be a real live kid. That's why I took the form of this ghostly yellow bear. I didn't want to end up like the others. A robot. Jacob. I'm sorry your childhood was cut tragically short. I'm sorry you never got to see your friends that day. But this is no place for a child. It's time to stop fighting. 
It's time to rest. Blanky boy. Thank you. So, that's what Freeman lost so feels like. Oh. It feels kinda nice. Yep. But he said, oh. It raises some concerns. Really? Like what? Well, about some of the stuff Henry told me. These kids are just like you, Willie. They don't have good homes or families like we do. Look at how happy they are here. Don't you want them to experience this forever? Henry told you that? I mean, yeah, he did. Do you think he was kinda wrong? Yes. That son of a- Censoring. Even though the same cusses all the time. Dave. I can assure you. That little girl that, uh, the, that he abducted at the diner? Her name was Dee. Dee's nuts! She had a family. And that family loved her unconditionally. Maybe she had no parents, but sure that's life. Her older brothers looked after her. They would have died for her. What do you say then? Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, I'm rambling. It's time for me to go. I have a restaurant to run. I can't believe you didn't tell me about that. Did you buy the stuff your own Freddy's kit? 1993 edition. I bought it secondhand. I found it at a flea market. I see. Out of curiosity, who's had the dress stick up on the side? Freddy's. They're even a nail choice, old sport. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm a very classic. Same as most of the Freddy's locations, though, I guess. I'm a very simple man, okay, Dave? Pretty legit. Very simple man. Oh, by the way, I'm just wanting ya. Those things get a little strange later on. I might have lost my mind while recording those. You mean more than you already had? I should probably add. That kid said he recognized my voice. I'd be a little more concerned if I were you. Oh, I'm very concerned. I believe that you are the one who killed him, the crazy version of you. Trust me, I am. No, you don't get it. The reasonable part of my soul is here. What? The feral side is still out there. If that kid recognized my voice, Reality Dave is still lurking around. And if he found your pizza place, he's probably trying to find you. I'll keep an eye out. Good, good. So, what's next for us? Well, I need to return to reality. I have a restaurant to run. Ah, uh, I... I guess I'll just stay here. Mm -hmm. Alone. Time doesn't exist here anyway, so who cares, right? I'll be back for you, Dave. Little crybaby. Okay. I'll be back in a month's time. You will. Yep. Can I ask you something, Dave? Shoot, old sport. When I return, I want you to, to have a plan for us. God knows how many souls are trapped in here. Uh, do you think you can figure a way for us to free more of them? I sure can, sportsy. Leave it to me. I'll know exactly what to do by the time you get back. Awesome. Thank you, Dad. Dave, that's very useful. That's me, useful babe. Yeah, I like Useful Dave. Useful Dave is pretty cool. It's been fun, Dave.
Catch you next one. Why, Sportsy? Good luck running your new Freddy's joint. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye, Dave. Back into the real world. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Save. Sure, 
That's uh, convenient. Uh, 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 uh. Grow your own hallway in minutes. Just add water kit. That can't possibly be a real kit. Stop Barry, downwards. Randomize everything! <laughs> Randomize layout, default decorations, random building mode, recommend it for new player. Nice choice. I'm a new player. We need tables. Excellent. And you. What do you need, boy? boy? Hmm. Sure, why not? That was a horrible place to put it, but... Fuck it, the tuck's going up. Put uh, Bonnie's face out there. Uh, uh, okay. Sure, dog. Mom, so you better check up on how the fighting is getting on. I'm gonna do H plan. Take from the list. to choose from. Oh, 
songs from the original games, and I love it. Just gonna, just gonna let us be Rick rolled. I don't know why this is a thing. If I don't find one better than this one, this is the one I'm going to choose. Oh, it sounds good. I don't find one better than that. Oh, but I like this one too. I'm happy that there's so much stuff. Either me themed or damage coda. Oh. I'm gonna get so many copyright strikes, but you know what? It's worth it because this is, sounds amazing. I'm your boss, you will listen to me.
We broke even. We've done far better than I expected to do. Okay, well then fix it.
Save! Dang it! What you could do is just go back to the first save file, you know, and get the f Withered Freddy. Mm, you're right, I could do that. Outside. Search the dumpster. Forty six dollars is forty six dollars. Well, the gaze up your stuff. Ah, yes. Restaurant, nobody else's. I built this place. Ah, uh, yes. Light up a cigarette, then. Ah, uh, time for a ciggy. Give me that lighter sound. E boy. Cigarettes. Oh. The hallway, I guess. It's a clean hallway. Not the floor. Search the hallway. Around only a waterlogged hallway, exactly four dead cockroaches. On the floor, then. Oh, well, that's the floor filling. Not what a thrilling hour. Negative one to company liability rating. It works. It all Better than nothing. Jack 
your staff. What? and get Freddy, Withered Freddy, instead of, um, the Golden Bear Springlock suit thingy. Yes. A Withered Bear is better than no bear. I do say so myself. And I do. I, I just did. So yeah. It'll load. Ow. My knee. Loading slowly. Come on, baby, load. Never mind. Anyways guys, if you like this video and want to see more content like this, like, subscribe more. See y'all in the next stream slash video, which may be soon, I don't know. And bye!